Hey Tigers, Mr. Pesetsky here again with more FAFSA fun. Uh, if you're already creating your FSID, that's great. If not, go to my other video about creating an FSID because that's the first thing you need when filling out the FAFSA. Again, I want to remind you that um, with a lot of changes going on in our lives uh, these days, if you find yourself uh, or your household losing income, uh, please, please, please contact the university you're applying to, ask for a parent review form fill out that form and return it back to the university and they will adjust your financial aid uh, appropriately, okay? So it's still very important to fill out the financial aid uh, information and submit your 2018 taxes, even though that might look totally different than what uh, what is gonna be coming up soon based on uh, these current circumstances. So here we go. You're gonna go to fafsa.gov. I'll take you to this page here. You're gonna click start here for a new FAFSA. If you've, um, created a FAFSA and you need to finish or correct information or add a school, you want to log in through there. Then you're going to click on I am the student, then next. Okay, you're going to use the FSA ID information that um, you created just now, that in there. And uh, this should autofill based on your FSA ID, so just make sure it's all correct. Set. Very important, you're gonna fill out the 2021 FAFSA. Okay, that's for the next academic year. Not this one, this is for this current academic year, but you're not in college this year, you're in college next academic the academic year, so make sure you're clicking this. Then you're gonna create a safe key, it's another password to log into your FAFSA. Here's a list of uh, FAQs. You're certainly welcome to read through it. Once you're done, click next. Then this should also be auto-filled based on your FSA ID. Make sure it's correct. Same here, again, you're gonna enter your email address. Um, again, use your own email address, your personal email address, not your MUSD email. When you're done, click next. And again, making sure all this is correct, and click next. Questions about residency, click next. More questions, click next. Okay, so you will be earning a high school diploma. This is correct here. You're gonna be working towards your first bachelor's degree. Um, you will have, you're gonna enter no here, and you're gonna select never attended college first year. You definitely wanna make sure you're clicking yes here to be considered for work study. Um, that's an extra, that's extra financial aid for you if you do click, click, click yes. When you're done, click next there. Uh, answer male or female. Um, if you are male and uh, over the age of 18, you have to be registered with the selective service. Um, it, the selective service is in case the government decides to reinitiate the draft, uh, you have to be registered in order to receive federal financial aid. So if you have not registered and you're already 18, you can click no. After that, um, a question will come up asking if you want, want to automatically be registered, click yes. If you are still under the age of 18 and haven't registered, you can still click no and have them automatically register you. So make sure you do that. Click next. Uh, you can enter your driver's license here. It's optional, so if you don't have one, that's okay. You can just click next there. Now you're gonna enter um, your parent information. Um, you can enter the highest level of education they achieved, so parent one, uh, whether it's high school, college, or beyond, uh, and parent two, same thing. Click next. Now you're gonna enter our high school information. We're on a high school, Tucson, Arizona, and click next. Um, that's if you had to search for the school, but if you just enter Marana High School, Tucson, Arizona, it will just come up. This is where you're gonna enter uh, schools that you want uh, FAFSA to be sent to. So you're gonna select the state. So you, for example, you can put Arizona, and then school name, University of Arizona, and hit search. It'll come up here. You're gonna click that box. And then uh, you can uh, add more schools if you want. Uh, but then it'll come to this point where it's going to ask you if you want to live on campus, at home, or off campus. Make sure you click, select one of those. Click next. Again, this is student information, so you're going to ask you uh, whether or not you are single. Uh, so click, select whatever answer is appropriate there. Click next. Uh, this wants to know about your dependents. Do you have children? Um, yes or no. If not children, but other dependents, like a spouse or something like that, you click the appropriate answer there, and then next. Uh, make sure you're reading through all of these and click, click all of the um, 
ones that apply or none of the above. And next. And then um, it asks if you uh, are at risk of being homeless. So answer that. Then if you're able to, you will provide information about your parents. If you're not, um, that leads you to a whole other set of slides, which we'll get to uh, hopefully later. Uh, so, so right now we're just going to pretend we're able to provide information for our parents. I'm going to click next. So now we're on parent information. So now everything, all these three arrows were based off of you. Now we're going to parent information. So this is asking if they are married, remarried, divorced, or separated, or if you have a deceased parent. Um, and then information about the year that they got married. Next, you're going to enter their social security number, all that information there. Next. Um, same thing, keep going, next. And then they wanna know about your parents' residency. Um, click next. Now it's gonna talk about household size. So uh, based on what you input about your parents, it will show up two plus yourself. Then you're gonna put in um, any siblings. So if you have two siblings or whatever, it'll go here. Other people, sorry, I keep doing that. Uh, other people. Um, if you have grandparents, aunts, and uncles living with you, you would put that in that household that your parents are financially supporting or whoever the head of the household is supporting. Um, and then that actually gives you the total number of the household right there. A number of people in the household attending college. So we know it's one because that's you, right? So at least one uh, you'd want to put there. But if there's more, or if, even if it's a parent taking a few classes at Pima or, um, or on online college courses, as long as it's full time, they count. So make sure you just put that in there, but definitely one for you. You're gonna click next. Um, then we're gonna get into your parent financial information. So here you're gonna click, remember they're asking for uh, 2018 taxes. So uh, or it's gonna ask you if they were already completed, IRS 1040, and then you're gonna link to IRS, okay? Now, uh, parents also, one parent needs to at least do an FSA ID. So if they haven't done one already, they can click there. It'll take you to that website from the previous video on how to create an FSA ID. Um, that, well, sorry, that link will take you to how to, to create an FSA ID for your parents. And that's how they're going to uh, upload their taxes. So then you enter that parent FSA ID information right there. Um, you're gonna proceed to the IRS site. It'll look like this, you're gonna click OK. It'll look like that, click OK. You're gonna end, um, make sure all of this is correct. You're going to enter in your address here. You're going to click submit. Okay. Then it'll. Then you want to click this box here and say transfer now. And then you have successfully transferred your IRS tax information, which is awesome. Then you go next. Then there's some other tax questions uh, your parents will need to answer um, about uh, wages earned in 2018. Again, remember if that's going to change, that's okay. Don't worry about it because again, you're gonna fill out that parent review form and submit it to the university you're applying to, and they will adjust your financial aid package accordingly. Because we all know, um, unfortunately, lots of people are losing jobs these days. Um, so you're gonna click next. Um, and then you're gonna continue here. Um, and then continue the amount of parents income tax here. Uh, it's already transferred from the IRS, so that's good. I'll ask you a couple more questions here about tax information. And just make sure you're answering. It should all be pretty much pretty pre-filled in from the taxes you uploaded. Okay. Um, and then so if it's zeros, it's all here. Okay. Most of the time it's all going to be zeros, but just read through it to make sure. Okay, and then as of today, your parents' total current balance and cash savings, put that in there. Um, investments are there. If you have any questions about what investments mean, you always want to click on the question mark here. Uh, now, student information. So um, if you did work and completed taxes in 2018, um, then you will do just like your parents did, already completed, uh, filed 1040 as a single. If you did not work, in 2018, it didn't file taxes. Uh, there's an option here that will say uh, uh, will not complete or do not, did not file. And so just click that and then you'll bypass all of this. 
Okay, and then you're going to provide your student SSA ID right there. If you need to upload taxes, if not, this won't come up. Then uh, same thing. We're going to skip through this. And again, this is only if you worked in 2018 um, as a student and needed and submitted 2018 taxes as a student. Okay. Um, I'm click next. Okay, same thing. It's probably should, if, as a student, you filled out the 2018 taxes, this will all be out of vote for you, but just go through it to make sure it's accurate. If you selected, if you did not file 18 taxes as a student, you're going to bypass all of this. It's just part of the slideshow. I apologize. Um, and then you're going to come to here. As of today, your current check, uh, balance of cash saving uh, or checking accounts. If you have $10, just put in $10. It's okay. Um, or you can put in zero. Um, but just make sure you're putting in that information. Then it's going to ask if you're the preparer. You're going to say no. The preparer it means is if you paid somebody to fill this out for you. Hopefully you did not. You'd never want to pay somebody to fill out the FAFSA for you. So you're going to select no here. Click next. Now it's going to give you all this. You're going to go through this and review it. Make sure it's all accurate. And at the bottom of the page, it will say uh, next. Sign and submit. Um, as a student, you're going to sign the provide student signature. You're going to agree. Um, this is going to link your FSA ID account permission. Sign this FAFSA. Okay. And, um, and then it'll say sign uh, FAFSA. That. Um, and then same thing for your parent. Okay, parent one, agree. Next, sign FAFSA, submit my FAFSA, and there you go. Congratulations, your FAFSA has been submitted. Then it should tell you what your ESC is, your expected family contribution, right there, right away. And then it takes about three to five days for your uh, college to receive this information. Okay, so if you have any questions, please refer to email me here. My Google Voice number is that, or here is the FAFSA hotline. Thank you very much, and hope you guys are staying safe. Have a good day.